everyone welcome back to my channel today's video is about my january favorites yay finally we'll get to that i mean i've been so bad with favorites for the past uh, yeah for the past several months i think the last video i did on favorites was like monthly favorites was in I don't know, September? So yeah, it's it's really about the time I did something like favorites. I don't count uh, the favorites or discoverers of 2020 because it's not exactly, you know, favorites. It was about discoverers. So let's start. We start with the products like skincare and hair care because uh, it needs a special uh, attention. I finally tried uh, after... I don't know, probably everyone uh, on YouTube tried all the plaques for their hairs. I, it was my first time I tried all the plaques and I tried the number zero, the recent one, the treatment that you can have, do yourself at home and uh, kind of like the, the, the go together treatment number three. If you know all the plaques, you know what it is. It's like a hair care that practically it's for the hair that are quite damaged, color treated, treated, and it's practically restores your hair and it has this bonding kind of effect that kind of makes your hair thicker. I mean, it's uh, the whole uh, technology of it is uh, is really kind of a high tech and uh, yeah that practically changes the structure of your hair. Uh, this was the January's the month when I started using it. I cannot tell exactly that it changed my hair because I used it only I think twice. But I decided to involve it in this video because I do believe that um, it's it's kind of like a little bit of a discover of this month, okay? It's not favorite because I still kind of on a trial of this product, but I do believe that it will work. Uh, this I tried only once and this uh, kind of a hair treatment, hair mask, so to speak. It's kind of a very potent hair mask. I tried twice and yes, yes. The, the moment, like the day you you use it, your hair look super like and they feel like very nice. Now, hair, skincare, hair care, skincare. Uh, the new product that I tried this month was the Neutrogena Cellular, Cellular Boost. It has retinol and a hyaluronic acid. I love this product a lot. It's milder than uh, your normal retinol and it has also hyaluronic acid which means that it kind of um, balances the effect of retinol like if retinol is too strong for your uh, skin for you uh, the combination of hyaluronic acid and here it's it has this balancing effect and I really think it's really wonderful product and uh, it uh, controls like um, the collagen level, the elastin, uh, hyaluronic acid really like uh, helps with the barrier of this, your skin. So it's fantastic. And for the price it has, I really think it's uh, worth, um, you know, uh, checking out. It's, it's uh, one of those products that, yeah, I showed you. Yeah, I'm testing it this uh, month, but I already think that it's uh, working at magic because I had a rash here for like four months and uh, this month it disappeared. And I don't know, due to, I don't know, this is the only product, new product I've been using and I'm having this side of my face completely healed. Can be due to the retinol because retinol has its... Um, um, they, they, it, it kind of improves the texture of your skin a lot and it helps with the uh, blemish marks, with pigmentation, so it can probably it worked for me. Another product that I really like, and it's not a new one, but I've been using it uh, this month a lot and in general I like using it uh, like a, a kind of a regulating of the sebum and also pore uh, kind of uh, keeping it um, 
in good condition, like not congested. I don't exactly have a very dilated pores, but I have a little bit here on a kind of a oily and yeah, dilating like side pores. And this product by Yarak, it's um uh, it's really nice i've been yeah i think i've been using it already for like two years on and off uh, this is my second time around buying it and i use it practically like on the on this um place where i have like more oily basically t-zone it has a little bit of salicylic acid here so it's kind of a skincare but also for me it's like um primer because it smooths your skin here and it keeps check actually today i haven't used it and i see that my face a little bit shiny here even though i powder it a little bit yeah so i feel like um yeah this has a quite mattifying effect especially where you need it i'm really loving it it's very liquidy it's like you have to shake it and you see it's kind of liquidy very very light it has, yeah, and it's kind of like purifying, like it keeps your pores um, clean. So yeah, I'm really loving it. It's called Cibology Matifon. Anyway, I'm gonna write down below the video all the products. Now this product I love a lot. It's a CC cream, uh, not CC cream, uh, brightening CC serum by Terry. I use it especially in um, winter uh, time because it has like a brightening effect. I have a number two. They have different um, uh, different colors. They have more peach, more bronzy. I love this a lot because it does gives you this brightening effect. It's very, it's quite um, like, you know, um, kind of like, um, it's sort of, uh, illuminating like it, it's, you see the sheen so i use it a lot um, basically i use it every day because i do see the difference right away my face looks brighter and i don't even want to like apply any foundation or any coverage because i just feel so like my skin is so healthy looking using it a lot these days especially in this time of the year when your skin can look dull like luster now I'm using this, just got back to this uh, 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 lip scrub by Lush. I used to like it a lot, but, uh, and maybe one year ago, one year and a half, I stopped using it because, I don't know, I just find it too abrasive for my lips. And I switched for another more mild scrubs and found other way to like scrub my lips. But recently I decided to give it a go again. I was in Lush store and I wanted to buy it and I never had a honey a lip uh, scrub. I had like berry, which smells so nice. And this one, maybe they formulated their um, lip scrubs because this one is so much gentler to the lips and I absolutely adore it. Like I'm loving it so much. And I've been using it uh, this month a lot, loving it. Now I have this face uh, and eye palette by Essence. This is the old one, actually. And I don't know if you can still buy it, you see it's like cool. But recently I'm using it all the time and especially for this highlight here. This is the most creamy and beautiful highlight. I don't know if you see. I have it on my face. I also have uh, this one as of a blush topper. Now, and on my eyelids, I have this color. Um, I'm liking it so much. Their formula, the essence formula of this uh, eye palette is uh, actually stands next to the uh, high-end product uh, because I think that this, I specifically this uh, two highlights, maybe like a blush and highlight, I think. They have the most creamy, the most subtle, the most beautifully looking uh, texture on your skin. It doesn't um, look uh, too much. It's kind of, uh, it's so subtle, but yet you see it. I mean, you see it, right? And it's, yeah, I mean, I can compare it maybe with the Becca highlight, 
like even then though I have a back of highlight I'm more I'm more reaching for this one than the back of one also because it has kind of like completely neutral it's neither warm nor cold I mean and it's so creamy I'm just absolutely loving it I also have it uh, on the corners of my eyes I'm loving it so much now I have this nail polish that I'm using this month a lot because it's just so bright and it just reminds me of summer. I have it on my nails. It's uh, by Essie in Fifth Avenue. This is my second time buying it. I'm using, I think the first time I discovered it like six years ago or yeah, six or seven years ago. Yeah, and I've been loving it. I, I always, so there is always a period in of time in the during the year when I'm constantly using it and normally it's exactly of the like January or February when you feel a little bit like kind of sad a little bit after all Christmas and New Year's fuss and celebrations now yeah I quite uh, this is my way to cheer myself up and I really really like this color and normally uh, when it comes to the nail polish I want to have also a bright lip to match my nails and this will be this month this bright uh, mattifying kind of a lipstick by Laura Mercier in fire um, okay this is my favorite texture of the lipstick in Barcelona we don't have it Laura Mercier because I would buy like other colors as well but I have only this one I really are so tempted to order more. The thing is, like, we're wearing masks, right? Like, buying new lipsticks is a bit kind of a... Why would I? Even though I'm, I love lipsticks, so... Speaking of wearing masks, uh, the lipstick that I really like and that works for me, um, especially uh, under the mask, is this uh, matte lipstick by Maybelline in uh, Nude Embrace. I'm having it right now on my lips. I put a little bit of gloss. Every time I put it and I put the mask on, when I have to take it off, I have my lips intact, which is actually what I need these days. And because we have still coffee places open and restaurants only like different hours, it's uh, from seven until nine, half past nine, and from one o'clock until half past three for lunch. So. Of course, I still meet my friends for coffees and we go for lunches and yeah, and I do use lipstick. So this is one uh, like go-to everyday lipstick. I'm really loving it. And another product that I'm obsessed, it's not like I'm obsessed, it's not a new product, um, is there, let me grab it. This mascara, I'm wearing it right now, but I'm wearing it basically on daily basis. Uh, it's a mascara by YSL, they are Kind of a Bordeaux uh, deep red wine mascara. I'm wearing it right now on my eyelids, and um, I really find it very flattering, very youthful looking for the day, especially. It's just different, you know. And while black mascara, obviously black mascara is black mascara, but I really think that this mascara gives a different uh, vibe to your general look. And I don't know how it, uh, like, how you can see it on camera, but in the daylight when I'm out in the street, and it's, it's, it's really like, it's so nice, you know, and you have, and if you have blue eyes or light eyes, it will uh, intensify your color even more. But I do believe that this uh, this color is flattering to basically every every um, eye color. And uh, yeah, this is it. This is uh, all my favorites for uh, January. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye bye.